Hey everyone. Hey everyone, Tom here. Welcome to Quantum Break. We're gonna go straight into this into a normal game mode. I don't know any backstory to this game apart from I watched Jack Septicai play it quite a while ago. And that uh, it's got like a like a rewind kind of feature to it. It's about all I know about the game and planets frozen or something. So we're going to get into it and start playing this as a series on the channel. Uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to go or if it's going to stay on the channel for long. But there's something that might be a backstory thing. Act 1, the number one killer. The number one killer is time. Oh. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Paul. Jack. Just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right. You'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so... Oh, look at him. Look at him. Still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? All that I was been a showman. Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Burning the midnight oil? Just waking up? Or are you getting ready for bed? Or maybe you're asleep. I wouldn't blame you. Not a lot going down in downtown tonight. Now, unless you're at the Riverport University campus, where the protest against Monarch Solutions is still going on. They're going this way. There's nobody left to convince. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. Uh -huh. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. Head home. Into the Phoenix building. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring him in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. 
Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the All flight? Right. Close, dude. First class. Thank you for that. So if you Step can hit up again more in the trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. In your van. In here, Jack. Going up. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry There's about my uh, If Will did something wrong. Then Again. Jack, man. That was all stuff I've been tight lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long winded presentations on the horizon? Oh, it's gonna be great, isn't it? Massive presentation. I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> you? Oh, shocking. Okay. Enough Thank joking. You. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive is a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. All right, guys, need to turn up again. Is that why yeah. you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations. About that. Dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're going to cut our funding if I don't prove it. Okay. Where are we going, Paul? 
Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's I already call. essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. I can... So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. <laughs> I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Well, this seems seems that's just the chronon conduit initiating okay are you sure it's supposed to do that replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, oh, we've got to raise cool. the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Okie dokie, Paul. Just don't, you know, kill me. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time? No, pretty sure I am. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. Right. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. What, this one? Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. It's weird because it's almost like he didn't even go in. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. 
This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... he's... he's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... <laughs> Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen, before they happen, cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already you happened. Know. Yeah. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk. Okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? No, I gotta let you out. We're alive still. You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. That was pretty, uh... I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Will. Will. She was right all this time. But Paul, this could all have been avoided. But too late. No way to help. I didn't know where he'd end up. Hurry. He's here. Fire. 
What the hell? Hurry! This way! These two are brothers, yeah? Okay. Jack, oh, quick then. your hands. Gotta keep moving. That was pretty sick. Jack. You just... What, just... Go. This way. Move. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack. Your proximity to the pulse. It... It must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will. What I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> uh, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the Will? server room. Over. More of them. Hide. Do we get to be ninjas? They're coming. Do we get to be ninjas, Jack? I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always... Shh, shh, you... here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I... I'm sorry. Right. So I'm not talking much. Just every time I talk, have to stop this makes it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Will, get out! Oh God! Target's armed. Opening fire. We're pinned down. Yeah, I know. Really? Sad. Jesus! Go, go, go! Yeah. Bitch free! Will. Saved by uh, whatever this thing. Will, are you okay? Whatever that is. I think so. But Jack, that was. I know. This is way out of hand. 
I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Hey, never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. I was positive that the experiment would work. That the figures were correct. Because his specialists were a bunch of goddamn idiots. Their formulas huh. were missing these variables entirely. You're seriously making corrections right now? Well, if they made them in the first place, we wouldn't be here. That's true. Let's get out of here. Not good. This is not good. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Raider team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix okay. the fracture. I, I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. Now yeah. you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? <laughs> okay. Do we ring the what bell? Happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Where's your car? This way. Take it, Amma. Look at this. She's terrified, Dewey. I'm gonna get her moving. She's not in freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Look at them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. We can get to the parking lot through the lecture hall. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. I like the way we're just walking through a school with like loads of people, but door. like, time's frozen. Care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Uh. 
Here, you'll need the keys. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. So I probably enjoy that car. Just waiting for him to say that. What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. It's supposed to be in goddamn Thailand. I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God I'm not too late. late. That's... I'm seeing the past. I hope to God I'm not too late. late. There we go. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused Get area. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from where I left. Will. I gotta get back. To him. Fast. I swear to God, if you hurt him, who do you think you are? He's a dead boy. I could do this. Like a eagle vision thing. You're Jack Joyce. Where is he? Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Very interesting game, to say the least. So far. Will. Will!
You see, I don't know what gameplay is gameplay. Supposed to take William Joyce alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Please, please, let me go. I can shut the hell up. But just shut the fuck up, all right? Boss said to take him to the library. Wants to deal with this one person. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. <sighs> Nothing. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut the power. Open it's fire! Joy! I have a soda. Soda. Okay, gotta get to the library. Gate, maybe? There's gotta be another way in. Where did that come from?
looks like a way up. Come on, I don't have time for this. I gotta slow that thing down somehow. I don't know, shoot them things. I remembered we could like pause time and stuff, so. This is Airlift Prime. We've got the time machine core in transit. Hey! Hands where I can see! What the hell is going on around here? Who knows, bud? William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the Roger. brother is. By a time shield, that's pretty cool.
fine. I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Get me out of here first. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need the... <clears throat> Hold that thought. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. I'm a little busy getting kidnapped. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. Man down! briefcase then we find Beth Wilder why who is she she knows about the fracture I trust her glad you trusted somebody my let's get her it's not that simple Jack they kept secrets from you to keep you safe safe look around you will does this feel safe to you this isn't my fault Beth warned me this would happen I did everything in my power to stop it but you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. All right. Let's go get this guy's briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. That took time to get this one. Jack! What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait. Trigger. I never wanted this. Quite interesting first act for the game. Okay. 
do its thing. Uh, it's probably copyright actually, so I might actually skip. So it's the end of Act 1. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a really good game so far. I'm going to click continue. It's probably going to load Act 2. Okay, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode of the game. I'm not too sure what's going on right now. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like, comment, even subscribe if you want to see more like games like this. Or more Quantum Break. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video.